Hi, this is Phil from Tech for Text. Today we're going to be looking at this Lexar Professional 1066X Micro SDHC Micro SDXC UHS One card, and this is their Silver Series. They've got sizes from 32 gigabytes all the way up to 512 gigabytes, depending on availability. And prices start at roughly 16, 17 pounds. Um, what would you use one of these for? These well, because the high speed of up to a 160 megabytes per second read and 120 megabytes write. The ideal for using on HD and even potentially 4K footage. So if you need something what can um, respond really quick, especially on something like a smart device or a drone or even like a CCTV um, system where you need to record your data to and it needs to be the best quality available, then you'd be looking at a card like this. Um, you can get slower cards which are a bit cheaper, but the catch is then they don't always record the full quality and especially if you're using it in a camera, it might not even take the pictures quick enough so you can only take half the amount of pictures in the same amount of time. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Lexar Professional. It's the 1066X Micro SDXC UHS-1 Silver Series. This is a 128 gigabyte version. They do versions from 32 gigabytes, 64, the 128, which is what this is, 256 gigabytes, and 512 gigabytes. Obviously, depends on availability and possibly your country. The maximum read speeds are 160 megabytes per second. The write is 120. It's got all your stamps and everything you need on there. It's going to be ideal for recording 4K content, high speed content, everything like that for drones, cameras, uh, and everything really you need. So obviously it's got the UHS-1 technology to, uh, for that full speed and uh, obviously it's got the ability of doing 4K Ultra HD as we said. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the packaging. So it basically says everything we've already said on there. It's got a little pictures for like a little camera. So that could be like a, a dash cam or something like that. Um, you've got a little drone and an Android symbol there for obviously tablets and phones. The back gives you a little bit more information, but again, it's mainly all in different languages and so forth. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. You can see the card itself. And the adapter, the adapter is pretty plain. The card is black and silver designed. Okay, so this is what you've got in the box. There's not much. There's no instructions or anything like that because it's pretty straightforward. You've got the adapter here, which is pretty straightforward. As you can see, it's just a standard adapter. If you're not sure how the adapters work, you just get your micro SD card, slide it into the adapter there and push in and it makes a full size card. So you can then use it for something like a, a camera, uh, as in digital DSLR or whatever camera you've got. Uh, let's have a quicker or closer look at the card itself. So you can see the card there, you can see all the different information on it you'll need, which is basically on the box, that black and silver design. You've got your pins on the bottom, and then obviously you just put that in, obviously whatever device you're wanting it to go in. So it is pretty straightforward, there's not a huge amount to see or talk about. We're going to do some speed tests to see if it actually runs at the speeds that it quotes, but otherwise that should be about it. Okay, so down to testing. First of all, we used the card reader from Lexar, which is called the Lexar Multi-Card 2-in-1 USB 3.1 Reader. And I really suggest that you use a card reader like this to gain the best speeds possible when you're transferring your SD card data from your, obviously, SD card onto your computer or laptop. Okay, down to the testing itself. We use Crystal Disk Mark and Atto to do the testing. As you can see on the screen, 
for the read speeds using Crystal Disk Mark, we've got 154.98, so say 155 megabytes per second. On the right, it was nearly 118, so that's pretty close to what they actually uh, specify on the box and on the website. Uh, using Atto, results slightly different, but the actual write speeds went over 120 megabytes per second, which is higher than what they uh, specify on the box, which is 120. Uh, but the read speeds were a little bit below and getting around about the 148 to 149 megabytes per second. But even saying that, uh, it's quite common for these programs to both give slightly different results because they work in slightly different ways. Uh, and on average, the speeds we are getting are roughly what it says on the box within a percent or two which is uh, pretty normal when you're testing things like this and even on hard drives and ssds it's very rare you get the exact number because there's that many things in play from speeds of uh, your actual card reader to motherboards in the computer and the rest of the components and also what software you're using and what else is running on the machines and so forth so in conclusion, very happy with the card. It does what it says on the box. We're able to get 4K 60 frames per second video off of it with no problems. And it was able to keep up at roughly around about 20 shots per second using a digital camera. So no problems there. Did everything I wanted it to. But if you are looking for a card that performs even better, why not have a look at the Lexar Gold series, which we actually reviewed a few weeks ago, and which actually performs closer to that 300 megabytes per second second. Again, this card, nothing wrong with it. It's very fast and I would highly recommend it.